graders. Have you guys ever wondered why we make art? Like what's the point of it or what's the purpose? So art does a lot of things for us, but one of the really important things that art does is it helps us to communicate. And what that means is it helps us to tell people stuff or to get our ideas across to people. So sometimes we might be telling a story through our art or we might be telling people how we feel or something like that. But art, a lot of times, is used to communicate ideas to people. So to remember that art is for communication, we're going to do a really fun one today and I hope you guys are excited. We are going to make sock puppets. Have you guys ever made a sock puppet before? I don't know if you have, but if you haven't, it's so fun. So the first thing you need is a sock. I've got, this is one of my husband's old socks. Ew, no, it's clean. Okay, it's clean, I promise. So you need an old sock that your parents don't mind if you're gonna use this, okay? So make sure that you check before you use the sock. So you're gonna get your old sock, and when you make your sock puppet, this part at the end right here, if you kind of slide your hand out, see, so there's where my hand's at. This part, I can push it in. And there's my mouth. So now my puppet can talk with that mouth. Okay, so no sewing or anything like that. Here's the start of my puppet. Well, he needs some eyes too, right? So you can get as creative as you want with this. You might have your parents help you, okay? Or you might mostly do it on your own. You could glue things on if that's okay with, with your parents. Just, you'll wanna check. I just have this marker and I'm gonna go on here and draw. I'm drawing with my left hand. This probably isn't the smartest thing to do. I'm gonna switch. Have you ever tried drawing with the hand that isn't the hand that you write with? really hard but it's actually good for you as an artist too it helps your brain work on different sides and the different sides help you do different things okay this is easier for me now so I'm on I'm using my right hand now I'm just gonna make a circle let's see how I want to design these eyes so when you design your sock puppet I want you to keep in mind that the point of, of this art project is we're talking about communication. So think about what do you want your sock puppet to say? Maybe your sock puppet has a lot of things to say. Can you show expression? Can you show how your sock puppet is feeling through the way that you draw him or her? this eye on. I left a circle, a little circle inside for a shine mark when I colored in my eyes. Let's see. So I did a circle, I went across it, and then I've got more. Can you see that? There. So I think that's pretty cute. Now, do I want to show how my puppet is feeling? I think I do. How do you guys think that my puppet's feeling? Is my puppet happy or sad or mad? I don't know. I'm feeling pretty happy right now, but just to show you guys, because it's easier to show like with a, a different emotion, I'm going to make my puppet sad and cute. I'm going to make it a cute, sad puppet. So. <laughs> I'm going to give it eyebrows that go up in the middle and down. They curve down like that. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. It's hard to do things with the camera because it feels backwards. All right. There's one. And then I'm gonna make the other one come down here like this. Because they're tilted up in the middle, my puppet looks sad, doesn't it? So sad. All right, if they were the other way, if they were down here and, and up here, then it would look mad. Like your eyebrows go down in the middle when you're mad and kind of get higher on the sides. So, now what do I wanna do? I can, like I, like I said, I can make this as complicated or as simple as I want. He's got a mouth here, so I don't want to draw on the mouth. I mean, I could give him teeth, couldn't I? Let me see. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to come back with some more markers. Alrighty, so I got the kind of purple colored marker, and I think I'm going to put some lips around here. So I'm going to go up here, because if you guys notice, 
the shape of lips. We have like a little, it dips down right there and goes up. So it's like, if you start with a V shape, and then this would just come around here, and this would come around there. Okay, I'm gonna just be quiet so that I can speed this up. a face like this. You could put a nose. I don't know if I want a nose on mine. I have some yarn that my daughter actually just left on my desk the other day. So I could put this on. I could give it some hair. It, this used to be a tassel, but it was just sitting around. I could give, give her some hair or something. And then now she can talk and now she can tell you guys how sad she is. Oh, I feel so sad. I feel so sad. You guys wonder why she's sad? Why are you sad? I don't know. Well, hmm. Did it rain all day and you wanted to go outside to play? No. Did it snow all day and you wanted to go outside to play? Oh, that would have been fun. I'm silly, right? All right, so <laughs> once you get your sock puppet, you can make it say whatever you want and you can give your art a voice. So remember, the reason why we're making sock puppets, aside from the fact that sock, sock puppets are really fun, is because they teach us that art can talk for us and it can say things and communicate for us. And that's really important. Alright guys, I hope that you have a lot of fun with your sock puppets. If you want to make videos and show me your sock puppets talking, you can. If you want to just post a picture, or if you want to post in the stream to share your art with the other kids, that's fine. But please remember to attach your work in the assignments in order to get it graded, okay? And just a final thought, that's not attached yet. Just a final thought. If for some reason you don't have a sock that you can do this with, you can always draw a picture of your own sock puppet and design it however you want. Also, remember that you don't have to just do it the way that I did it. You can use whatever you have around your house to decorate, glue on, attach. There's a lot of great things you can do to sock puppets to make them way cooler than the one that I made. All right, have fun guys.